Hey, we're on the big journey. Welcome back to the kingdom. Sorry, my throat. Uh, this is Smiley. We gave him beer and we sent him on his way. Hopefully he makes it off the map. I don't think he's gonna make it off the map. <sighs> this idiot. I hate him. Fuck off, please. Let's try to generate the planet. I, I, I'm wondering if I installed the mod that let us build roads on the the uh, the map, the overworld. Did I install it? <sighs> Did I install it? Who knows? I installed the mod that showed off the, the roads more clearly. This is cool. We're actually situated immediately on top of the road. I did not install the mod that let us build the uh, roads. There's a mod that lets us build roads, by the way. I always wonder, since I'm a fairly tiny channel at the moment, if people that have never watched an episode I've made, they come in, they watch episode 32 of the Kingdom Rimworld series, and they hear me talk, do they think I'm a giant idiot? Respond in comments down below. Let me know I ripped off a movie reviewer. I, that's... Uh, references, man. References. Oh, pardon. Pardon me. Oh, my. Oh, that stung. Hmm. <laughs> to check that the webcam wasn't on. Are we building uh, doors yet? Isco. Hauling steel to spike. Yeah, that's important. Rokoto, how? Why are you not asleep? I thought it was uh, Wizard's Party. I had a mood buff from Wizard's Party. Gandalf the Wizard. Not from Lord of the Rings. That's. Hey, go to Dynasty. Smiley exited the map. You might think that that reference was to Lord of the Rings, but you would be mistaken. It was a reference to Friends. The hit. Well, not hit. The cult show from the 90s. Not a lot of people have heard of it, or watched it. Alpaca 1 has given birth to Alpaca 3. That's great. We're gonna talk at this speed, in this manner, in this part of the country, at this time of day. This part of the country is situ located entirely in your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. Steamed hams. <laughs> <laughs> I fell on my head as a child a lot. A lot. A lot. I. We had. Uh, oh, but what's it called? A swing set. That's really different from the Norwegian word, by the way. There was a swing set at school, of course. It was elementary school. And it, it was. The, the ends were two logs making uh, uh, an A, more or less. You could run through them, and then there were two swings. Uh, and we had a game where people sat on the swings, going full speed, and you would try to run past them, run between them without getting hit. And no one got hit, ever. Not a single person got hit. Well, really, really, really seldomly at least. So it wasn't really a danger, I did it a lot. I don't think my mom knows, but she doesn't watch this anyway, so it's fine. I did this a lot. Never got hit, except once. I think I hesit hesitated, or someone distracted me, someone said something. And I, I kind of did a tiny pause, and then there were just wooden slabs. Wooden slabs that they sat on with really sharp edges. And that edge with a, a an 8th grader on top. He would be 13, 14 years old. Sat on it, going full speed, hitting me. The front of the face, or the, the, my forehead. And I flew back. Blood everywhere. Kids were shocked. I was crying. My mom was freaking out. I think this was 
uh, May 17th even, our, our national, uh, national day, the 4th of July of Norway. And I was in my, my, you know, child suit. I was, I have no idea, 9, 10 at the time, getting smacked in the face by the, the sharp edge of a 13 year old. Just bleeding all over the place. But I was fine. Uh, yeah. No doctor has ever said that I'm not fine. I was actually tested. That's a different story. Uh, there's also one time we were playing soccer or football. Because we're European, so it's football. Shut the fuck up if you're from somewhere else. You're wrong. <laughs> Yeah, also about, I don't know, probably, I think it was the year year before. Because I had consecutive things happen to me each year that involved my head and blood and stuff. And playing soccer, I, I hadn't become the big huge nerd yet. I was average sized child nerd at the moment. And uh, there was one... A girl in the 8th grade, again, because, of course, the older kids hated me. <laughs> I don't think they knew. Uh, playing soccer, a, a, football, a, a ball came, I was jumping up to head it. And she was crouching down to head it, because she was fairly tall. But as I jumped up and activated my neck muscles to fully force the ball forward she did more or less the same only we did it in opposite directions and again we smacked together only she connected uh, the, at the top of my head she connected with her teeth her front teeth and she had braces on her teeth like the, the, the fully formed hardcore braces on her giant fucking walrus teeth. <laughs> she had fine teeth, probably. But they connected in the fleshy part of my skull. And she she got stuck. Or rather, I got stuck on her teeth. She took a bite out of my head, is what I'm saying. And had to, I had to be forced off her teeth. To, to <laughs> no longer be connected. <laughs> top of the cranium and bottom of her front teeth and that's probably way more traumatic for her because I I was in pain and pain I can handle people can handle pain she took a bite out of my head and had to be forcibly removed from my cranium and I was pretty fine I was a child so I was probably crying but I I remember being in the, the, the school, that was at school as well, of course, in the school bathroom with my mom checking out the wound and a lot of people outside just, What's happening? Is he dead? And I remember everything was okay until my mom said, you, you're probably gonna have to get stitches and then I just fucking broke down. That's no, 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 no. Stitches? That's the worst thing that could happen apparently. Getting stitches would be awful. Cannot grow. The, the worst part of that for me was the thought of getting stitches. Just. But I was fine. I think I have a dent in my head. That dent may be from prolonged headset use because I am as you know the big huge nerd and my head is fucking giant and I, I'm, I keep telling people this I have a large head and they keep saying no you don't have an abnormally large head and I'm saying no not what I said I have a large head so if if I'm, I'm fairly, my head's fairly shaved at the moment. I have short hair, which I haven't had. What? 
What? Which I haven't had for a lot of my life. Not even gonna touch that. But if I wear a cap, or a toque, or whatever you wanna call it, the things you wear during the winter time when it's cold. My head is fucking giant. Because then it's just a friggin' head, you know? And the, the same thing goes with uh, horse eater is pregnant. The same thing goes with headsets. Most headsets, I've, I've had to, I purchased one when I lived in London and I <laughs> couldn't get it on my head. It didn't fit. It, it, it wouldn't, it would, I like the over ear headphones not the ones that the, I, I like the ones that envelop the ear and makes an enclosed capsule of air uh, I like those but it didn't reach it didn't reach all the way over my ear if this is my ear it kind of stopped right there and then the, the whole reason is gone and was just uncomfortable I had to return it then get something else. And I'm glad I did because I ended, ended up with a fantastic headset that I used for a long time. Logitech G35, I think. Which was big and it had a really cushy... I'm, I'm selling, I'm selling a, a product that I'm not sure even we have on sale or we're selling in, in at all anymore. And it had a real cushy, nice... Uh, Uh, rim, head rim, what it's called. Where, where you, the thing you put on your head, brother. <laughs> Good tending to. No oh, fuck. Yeah, it was fantastic, and uh, I had it for a long time, before it was. Uh, Pulled down from from my desk and yanked violently, so it shattered, got fucking destroyed, and I I, could, I bought a new a new pair. That's the only pair I've owned two of the same same product. Only thing, except for the mouse I'm using now, but that's not really because I wanna. It's a good mouse. It's a Steel Series. Uh, this is Rival 600. It's good. It's a good mouse. I really enjoy it. It has all all I need for it. I would prefer it to be a bit larger. I, I would like to have the regular grip on it, but I, I tend to claw grip it because my hands are fairly large. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good mouse. Only thing is that the, it has uh, like soft paddings on the side that's glued on. But just from barely ambient heat, just from human hand heat, the glue melts and it gets sticky. And the, the first mouse I had, just the, it almost came completely off. So whenever I played games, I, whenever I used the mouse, didn't even have to play games, whenever I used the mouse, I got real sticky on my hands. And I, I, I can feel just a giant difference on my left the keyboard hand, the mouse hand, my right hand. The, the, it feels different, it's wrong, it has a residue that comes off, and I don't like it. So I, I complained to the, the, the seller, and they said, we're shipping you a new one. Which was fantastic, they just said, it's fine, we're shipping you a new one. Don't have to send back the old one. Great, cool, a new one? Of the same sort though? Well, I can't really complain now. Maybe it was just a, 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 a defective mouse. Yeah, it wasn't. It's it's the it's the product. The same one I had it for. I actually checked because I want to return this one as well. But I feel like I have to have to let it go further. I just don't want to be sticky on my hands while I'm playing, and not have it be my fault. And I've had it for 122 days now. I think. I can have it for, for two years before the warranty runs out. And I think 
since it's not my fault, I haven't destroyed the mouse. Since it's a a, a problem with the construction of the mouse, then uh, I think I'm fine. And I can just get a new one. I just don't want the same one, brother. Because <laughs> it's trash. It's not trash. It's sticky. I don't want it to be sticky. That's the problem. So if, if I complain about this one as well, I just have to say that... Can... Is it possible to... Get like a gift card? Because I'm gonna buy a mouse. I'm gonna buy a new one, and if I'm gonna buy a new one, I'm probably gonna purchase... I'm not sure why I changed the word. I'm probably gonna buy a different mouse, just a, a, a more expensive one. I realize now that I haven't done fucking shit in-game for 15 minutes. I've only talked about my peripherals. And I apologize if that is not why you watch this. <laughs> Rad, what are you doing? You're researching? You don't have anything to research at the moment. Rada? Sure, you're, you're mining. Walton? Said something to for you to research. Let's let's talk game now, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If this, this annoyed you, leave a comment. Let me know. <laughs> that, that's what I'm gonna do for everything. If if I if I'm afraid that you're gonna be annoyed, leave a comment. Just you know, tell me. You're annoyed? Tell me. <sighs> what do we want? Harp? We're not close to. Let's go with this. We're not close to having a title. I gave it to... Who did I give it to? Was it Rada? It was Rada. She's a freeholder. And there are very few quests coming. <laughs> Just very few. We had a bunch. But I don't want this fucking extreme difficulty. I'm struggling with, with hard. And they're, they all... It's all about fucking mechs. What do you want me to do? You want me to slap the mech with a sword? Not gonna do that. Okay. Not gonna do that. Mona pa booty. What do you want this to be? I don't remember. Nothing, I think. We just built it to have them not cut through here. But still, I saw someone walking here, going wonk, 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 wonk. The fucking why? This is alternate brick paving. Let's not spend resources on that. Let's let's zoom through a little. Yes, build this. Fantastic. Not sure why we need it, but we're gonna have it. Okay, we're also gonna do this. I'm, I promise you... The road will be built. Also, the graves. We're gonna remove them. The, the barricades here, we're gonna deconstruct them. This is a road. It's not for fighting. I wanna look at the camera. But we're not using the camera for this. We are not using the camera for this. How dare you even ask that question? If I had the camera on, I would have to think about... Who are you? You're building a slave wall, all right. I would have to think about the fact that people are watching me while I'm saying and doing just dumb stuff. Oh, well, you're hauling them. Okay, sure. All right. Cutting oak tree, no brother. Brother. 
Siehste? Brother. Rakoto. Albert. You're married, aren't you? Quest expired. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Remove the graves, please. Great. Good job. Good work. Fantastic. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. Ay, 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 ay. Why is this faster? Why is that faster? Oh, hang on. Let's uh, build bridges. Structure. Bridge. Let's build the bridge. <laughs> Why? though that's so expensive that is so expensive remember river city rim world i enjoy that colony that was a good colony this one is good as well don't 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 get me wrong but river city rim world it had it had a feel for me at least that i just really enjoyed and i hope i hope this one doesn't have the same feel, I gotta say that. I like the name The Kingdom. This just is not as medieval as I hoped. I think that's the problem. It doesn't feel really medieval. <laughs> Difficult to say. We, we, we had some hardship. It's probably because we haven't been raided in a while. Let's hope for a raid. Next episode, we're gonna get raided. Thanks so much for watching. I'm the biggest nerd. This is The Kingdom. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.